Hi my peeps. If you're new to Kids Club, welcome. Habari! If you know Kids Club like the back of your hand, welcome back. My name is Mrs. Mallory. <laughs> oh, and we are uh, digging deeper into the New Testament. Today we're going to talk about how Jesus appreciates our love. In our Bible story today, a woman brought something very valuable to show her love for Jesus. But before we learn what she did, let's talk about what we have that's valuable. Something that I consider valuable is my car. It gets me from point A to point B, and I definitely didn't buy it at the dollar store. Something else that's valuable to me is my guest book from my wedding. It reminds me of all the people I love who were there to celebrate my marriage with me. What about you? What's something that you consider to be valuable? Now imagine if you gave up your most valued possession as an act of worship to show Jesus how much you love him. That's what the woman in our story did. As per usual, I'll be reading about her in the Friends with God Story Bible. But if you'd like to look up this story for yourself in your Bible at home, you can find it in the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verses 6 through 13. My version is narrated by Mary. I loved Jesus so much especially because I didn't feel very lovable. But he loves me. I wanted everyone to know he's the Messiah. He's come to save us and set us free from our sins. That meant the world to me. He heals people and performs miracles we've never seen before. I really wanted to do something to honor him. He's the son of God after all. He deserves the best I can give him. The best I had was a fancy jar of perfume. It was very, very expensive. Worth as much money as you could earn in a whole year. Jesus has done so much for me. How could I give him anything less? Jesus was eating dinner at Simon's house with some friends, so I rushed over to give Jesus my gift. I went straight to Jesus and dropped to my knees. I took my perfume and poured it all over his feet, and then wiped it with my long hair. Jesus' friends looked shocked. How could you let her do that? One of them said to Jesus, waving his hands in the air. What a waste, another groaned. We could have sold that perfume and given the money to the poor, a third one said, his face turning red. Jesus shook his head. Leave her alone. She's doing something good. You can feed poor people for the rest of your lives, but I'm not going to be around much longer. Then Jesus looked in my eyes and smiled. What you've done will be remembered forever, he told me. I would do it again in a heartbeat. I gave Jesus the most valuable thing I had, but it wasn't what you think it is. It wasn't the perfume. It was me. That's what Jesus wants more than anything. He wants us. We are the best gift we could ever give to Jesus. One thing I know for sure, Jesus doesn't want our things. He wants our hearts. The word of God for the people of God. Now you say, thanks be to God. So let's do a quick shout out. Shout out three important things you remember from this story. Ready, set, go. this story because it's a great example of how different people show their love. Some people, like Mary, make meaningful gestures. We heard one of the disciples in the story ask why Mary didn't give Jesus the perfume itself to sell and help those in need. It sounds like that disciple values acts of service to be a good way to show love. Some people like to hear words of affirmation, like, I'm so glad you're here with me, or I appreciate the ways that you care for me or I'm here for whatever you want or need. And those are expressions of love too. You may have heard people say things like that during worship. 
because we're expressing our love for God. Jesus even defended Mary's way of worship because he knew that that was the way that she knew how. Jesus cares more about the love behind the offering than the offering itself which I think is beyond awesome. When we do good things for others and show our friends and family how much we love them, seeing how they receive that makes us feel good too. It's great when we see the smile on their face and know that it's because of our love. So I have a great game where you'll get to try to put a smile on the face of someone watching you. It's called Crack a Smile, and here's how you do it. You'll get together with a partner and stand face to face. One partner is the grin getter. The grin getter's one goal is to get their partner to smile by being goofy. They can do any of the following. Tell jokes, make weird noises or faces, quote funny lines from movies, and do anything else to get your partner to smile. You only have two limitations. They have one minute on the clock to try and get that person to smile, and they have to do it without touching him. The other partner's job, you ask? Try not to smile or laugh. If you do smile or laugh, you're done. And then you can switch. Don't forget to backtrack to restart the clock. You can play as many rounds as you like, but don't forget to meet me back here when you're done. So find yourself a partner, decide who's who, and then start cracking those smiles. You ready, set, go! Welcome back. Now that we've all had some kicks and giggles, I'd like to ask you a couple things. Talk about this. How did you feel when your partner didn't smile? What about when your partner did smile? Tell about a time when someone didn't appreciate a loving gesture. Sometimes in life, it can be really hard to try and get someone to smile, even when we're trying our hardest. Jesus is different though. Jesus appreciates our love, always. Jesus smiles at all of the ways that people show him love. And we don't have to entertain him like we tried to entertain our partners in the game. Just like Jesus appreciated Mary's giving heart, Jesus appreciates your love and loves you right back 100% of the time because you are just who you are. And if that's not something to be thankful for, I don't know what is. If you have scented lotion at home, you can use that during our prayer time. Take a small dab, Ooh. rub it all in, and then take a big sniff. And think about Mary's perfume. Jesus' smile. And then repeat after me. Jesus, we love you. Help us pour our love on you. Like the sweet smelling perfume that Mary poured on you. Thank you that you appreciate our love. In your name, amen. All right, my friends, if you watched Kids Club at Home last week, 
then you know that Herndon UMC has something very special in store for you. Herndon UMC wants to serve and share God's love with you in a very special way today. Lots of students, teachers, and educational leaders are all going back to school virtually this year. And we at Herndon UMC wanted to support you as you go back to school, even if it's online. So I'd like you to pause and get the device that you'll be using for virtual school. If you're watching on that device right now, then you're good to go. Now that you have your device, I'd like you to place both hands on it and receive this blessing. Dear God, you call us to serve and share your love with a world in need. You have guided us to find new ways of listening to the voices of many others and connect with diverse peoples and groups. We ask your blessing on the learners, educators, and leaders, and the many devices we use to serve our neighbors in a changing world. May we always remember your message of love as we use them them to learn and grow together. Amen. And that is a perfect place to say goodbye for the day, friends. Until next time, know that God loves you, Tammy, Jean, Angie, Jessica, and I all love you, and that Jesus appreciates our love too. See you next time.